Hello, I'm Raja Raman. Welcome to our .NET Training Academy. Today we are going to talk about the career path of a .NET developer. So the first thing that you need to know and you should know where is your area and what is your area. So you need to pick any specific domain area uh, or area, something like web desktop, mobile, game, uh, IoT. So, seriously, there are a lot of areas in software development, like in um, uh, not only in .NET, uh, in all kind of platforms like Java, Python. And when it comes to a specific .NET developer, uh, it's really essential uh, to know where is your part. Some people focus on uh, become uh, focus on uh, on jobs placing in a job so they they are always uh, intended and they always um, meant to focus on uh, choosing a web development because there are a lot of vacancies and a lot of uh, uh, hypes on web and as well as in mobile development so in dotnet uh, web development and mobile development is the best and uh, outstanding uh, tools and outstanding languages and outstanding frameworks are there uh, in dotnet so for rest of the people those who are not employees those who are uh, the people those who are freelancing uh, those who are trying to build an uh, own company uh, some people like entrepreneurs so for them uh, it's really essential to know uh, their career I mean the path so because uh, they need to uh, if, if they are an entrepreneur they need to be uh, be an all-rounder uh, they need to manage uh, their co-ideas their company and also the development so it's really a hard task uh, the way uh, as usual uh, uh, when it comes to freelancer you need to uh, if, if you wanted to survive as a freelancer you need to know multiple technologies like web development mobile development so uh, I'll give my suggestion for this video and the path that you need to learn the stuffs uh, I'll give you an idea and how, how to become a .NET developer in various areas. So first we are going to talk about web development. Yes, of course, it is essential to know the HTML, CSS and JavaScript, which is the fundamental and basic build, uh, backbone of web development. So HTML is used, uh, HTML is a markup language, it's used to create a structure for a website and CSS is a cascading style sheet which is used to create and design a style and apply styles for a website and JavaScript is for user interactions like drop down menus and uh, click and hover kind of stuff uh, and when it comes to web development uh, which means uh, which means in .NET uh, the most of the people, uh, more than 80% of the of the developers now are using C Sharp as a, a web as their programming language for web development in .NET. But uh, there are also other languages like Visual Basic and um, Visual Basic and F Sharp. Uh, I don't think so. Uh, Visual Basic is the another option, but uh, C Sharp is good one so I prefer you to pick with uh, stick with C Sharp and C Sharp is the backbone for entire .NET development uh, uh, whatever the development area right now uh, it is very 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 cool for .NET um, whatever the entire area like mobile desktop and uh, universal platform and um, IOT uh, Gain whatever C Sharp plays a biggest role and SQL. Yes, it is really essential to know SQL. There are also another area in .NET development which is like 
SQL developer, which is used as a data analysis uh, and also for business intelligence. This is uh, so that's not uh, really a kind of a development. It's kind of uh, like an analytical stuff. So maybe this is related to this video, but that's beyond the scope. But it is essential to know SQL for becoming a web developer because uh, SQL is used uh, SQL is a database and uh, which is used to manage um, data and uh, all the all our images blobs and all our text and all our sessions and login registrations kind of stuff and when it comes to SQL in .NET you need to learn about SQL Server Management Studio, which is a database management system made for .NET. Um, and then Entity Framework. Entity Framework is an ORM, Object Relational Mapping, uh, which, which reduces and which uh, makes our life a lot easier on writing raw SQL codes, which makes our life simpler uh, by interacting uh, our, our entire concept in an object oriented way so the so we all know that the world is uh, world has changed uh, every programming language in object oriented way so uh, so the database concepts and the database SQL query concepts also uh, changed uh, in a real life manner like object oriented way so it is really good thing to learn entity framework so and the next stuff is ASP.NET MVC which is a model view controller design pattern and it is a number one web development framework for .NET developers even though there are a lot of uh, stuffs uh, a lot of other options like ASP.NET web pages web forms uh, ASP pages uh, in the past uh, but ASP.NET MVC and ASP.NET Core which is uh, newly released uh, stuff is the number one web development framework for becoming uh, for development in uh, ASP.NET so this is this is the uh, things that you need to know and this is the learning career uh, learning path uh, to become a web developer in .NET area. So next is mobile developer. When it comes to mobile development, uh, C Sharp is really basic. So uh, yes, of course, you can do anything that you want uh, that you can do using Objective C or Swift or Java for iOS and Android. You can do all the things uh, using C Sharp. So there are two different kinds, two different areas in uh, mobile development in C Sharp, I mean .NET. Uh, the first thing you need to know is Xamarin. Xamarin is the platform and Xamarin is the tool which is used to develop a native cross-platform applications uh, where you can build Android, iOS and also Windows uh, applications using Xamarin so native cross platform uh, tool for a mobile development you can write your code once and you can share your uh, stuff into a lot of uh, other other platforms like iOS um, Mac uh, I mean uh, Apple sorry Android and also Windows you are using a native API so you can uh, get the real native uh, application stuff. Uh, even though there are a lot of cross platforms like Ionic, uh, Cordova, but it's not as good uh, as Xamarin because Xamarin is purely native and uh, Xamarin.forms is an uh, easy way of uh, developing a user interface in uh, using a shared code using .NET uh, for .NET mobile development. Uh, Xamarin uh, Forms is basically uh, used for building a user interactions. Uh, XAML is the markup language which is used to uh, create uh, the UIs, UI kind of steps. And other than that, uh, in mobile development, 
via Xamarin, you need to know about the mobiles like Android, iOS, and Windows. Yeah, you need some knowledge about those kind of technologies. And now it's about desktop application developer, which means uh, software uh, which is used in a desktop. Uh, you may hear it about EXE or MSI kind of stuff. Um, yes, of course, it is essential to know C sharp. So, to be more clear, C sharp is really essential to become a .NET developer. You need to know about all the concepts of C sharp, like object oriented basic uh, programming concepts and also object oriented and also advanced features like delegates events attributes reflection async and await uh, asynchronous programming in c sharp and also uh, something like generics and collections kind of stuff so in desktop application you need to know uh, there are there are two kinds of desktop development one is windows forms and also windows presentation forms though windows presentation forms are a lot better than windows forms i prefer you to strictly get uh, give it a try in windows presentation form because it gives you rich graphical user interface and the extra thing that you need to know other than c sharp to become a desktop application developer which is saml a markup language made for desktop developers uh, it's really very similar to xml and a little bit of html so if you know about html or xml you can easily pick up uh, xaml because it's not rocket science it's really easy and then yes obviously ndd framework as i said as i told before uh, NDD framework is a backend, which means a backend uh, ORM, which is used for all type of database stuffs right now, in currently in ASP.NET development. And the other area, other than Windows presentation form, we are uh, we are also having a universal Windows platform, which is an all-in-one hero. You can once you develop an application in one platform or I mean one business logic can be applied to all the uh, Windows stuffs like Windows phones mob uh, Windows phones and the desktop and um, IOT and uh, Xbox game you can share that to everything so that's the magic of universal windows platform so you can do all the cool stuffs in one platform so that's the desktop application developer and the next thing is to become how to become a game developer so to become a game developer in dotnet it is essential to know c sharp as usual for a scripting uh, kind of stuffs and the first thing is uh, you have to know about the basics of computer graphics and animations like um, there are a lot of algorithms and computer graphics basics uh, kind of like pixels and graphical XYZ 2d and 3d kind of stuff so you need to know about the physics and the motions uh, physics and the animations and kind of uh, stuffs so and this and next thing is unity unity is the IDE and tool which is used to develop a game uh, either in 2d or in 3d it is a number one uh, game development tool currently and it is very very uh, uh, helpful uh, it is very very uh, related and closely coupled with dotnet and visual studio so it is uh, the first thing that you need to know is to learn about the interface and IDE uh, uh, IDE controls like shortcuts and the file settings and the layout settings of your IDE and how you uh, track your game and how the motions and how you wanted to perform your keys and controls so you need to know about the entire interface 
uh, of that Unity IDE and uh, after that you need to know about the scripting how to control uh, your game animation physics and your motion kind of stuff using C sharp programming language so this is and this is these are all the areas uh, uh, on .NET and it's up to you to pick any area and uh, go through it uh, when you ask about the employment job vacancies and salaries on these areas uh, I would say web and mobile is at number one so thanks for watching please subscribe and leave a comment and leave a feedback about this video and as usual bye